Hello everyone, I am Ashri Devi from Zikab Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we will be looking at the concepts of internet scanning worms, uh, the various models, how the worms are being propagated. The first one is the simple ap epidemic model. In this one it is the uh, same like uh, as how the diseases are being spread. Uh, there are the two individuals they are being taken. One is the suspectable and the another one is infected. The two states they are going to take it uh, from the suspected to the infected. So if the individual is suspectable that means he is being suspected that there might be an attack then obviously he is going to get infected. So this is the way the worm is being propagated from one state to the another state. Now in this one they are going to look after the way it is infected. Now he does that if it is being infected then the possibility is that it remains infected and it is not going to come back to the state of suspectable as it is in same in the disease also. Now here they are going to calculate how this worm propagation takes place based on the time. So if I take uh, the n to be the size of the total population and it to be the individual affected people at that particular time then based on the differential integration there are the formulas they have been given over here at the rate b beta this has been there and this is the final equation what they have been getting it so there is no particular uh, integration or the differentiation of this equation so we shall not look into the detail but they say that based on the time at what the rate it has been infected is at a very faster rate. The second one is uh, the kmark uh, Nedrick model which is usually famously called as a KM model. Right KM model. Here instead of the two states he has been considering the three state. One is ES state and the second one is the I state and the third one is the terminal which is uh, neither uh, that means it is either cured or it is been having the disease now in this one what they are going to say is that if it is moving from the state that is suspected to the infected state then it is not going back from the infected to the suspected state so it is directly moving to the terminal now the uh, the best example for this one is been explained in this uh, diagram you can see here uh, that is this is the simple epidemic model where they are going to show that yes is the suspected and it is infected so they have been receiving the infection so directly now it can't be done anything now in the KMARC model you can see there are the three states uh, yes I and T uh, when if it is infected then what is the solution they are looking as is to install the patches Hope everyone knows that in your mobiles you are getting the security patches every uh, two months or the three months so that it is going to provide these uh, security. The same way to stop the worm propagation they are having these worms because of which we can stop the attacks. Now the more one is if it has been suspected then either you can uh, you from the if it is infected from the suspect suspected to infected you are going to install the patches or if you it is already suspected that there might be a possibility of an attack then you can directly install the patch for this one so these are the ways the worms are being propagated and this is how they are going to stop the worms propagating from one system to the another system hope the concepts are clear for you people thank you